Hello everyone. Welcome to this AWS Security Service Feature Demonstration. Today I will be covering how the Amazon Detective API and features can assist customers in automating and analyzing investigations to quickly identify the root cause of security findings or suspicious activities, helping you more efficiently investigate or respond to security issues in your environment. Amazon Detective is a fully managed security service offering by AWS that empowers users to automate the heavy lifting involved in processing and correlating large quantities of AWS log data. It can be set up to monitor a single account or within your entire AWS organization. Amazon Detective starts by ingesting log sources such as AWS CloudTrail logs, VPC flow logs, Amazon Elastic Kubernetes or EKS logs, Amazon Guard Duty findings, and AWS Security Hub findings. With machine learning, statistical analysis, and graph theory, Amazon Detective uses pre-built data aggregators, summaries, and context alongside visualizations to help you quickly analyze and determine the nature and extent of possible security issues. Amazon Detective can help customers answer questions like, how did this security incident happen? And what AWS resources were affected? So in today's video, we'll talk about the Amazon Detective API and what investigative features it provides, what are the benefits of using Amazon Detective for an investigation, and what an investigation may look like while showcasing a demo of the service. All of the automation occurring behind the scenes begins with the Amazon Detective API, primarily used to create management and behavior graphs. So what are behavior graphs? Behavior graphs contain regionally extracted data from one or more AWS member accounts or a standalone account. The graph uses source data mentioned previously to generate an overall picture of your systems, your principles, and their interactions over time. It aids in performing a more detailed analysis of specific activity and helps create correlations between findings and entities that may be related to a security issue. The process behind a behavior graph follows this pattern. Source data is ingested and processed by Amazon Detective, which then updates the behavior graphs, which is then updated in the Amazon Detective console. Now in parallel, algorithms or machine learning and analytics are ran on CloudTrail logs to provide insights on anomalous behavior in API calls, then again updated in the Amazon Detective console. Because Amazon Detective is constantly learning from your environment and fine-tuning the accuracy of what acceptable behavior is, the behavior graphs need at least two weeks of runtime to develop accurate and insightful behavior graphs. The initial two weeks are considered a training period, and during this time it is best practice to add as many member accounts as possible to the behavior graph. Amazon Detective has a feature-rich environment to assist any responder with their security investigations. The summary page is a great place to start. Now, by definition, an entity is an item of concern extracted from ingested data into a behavior graph. This can be an AWS account, AWS role or user, a federated user, Elastic Compute Cloud EC2 instance, a role session, a guard duty finding, an S3 bucket, a user agent, an EKS cluster, a Kubernetes pod, a container image, or Kubernetes subject. The summary page contains several tools enabling you to focus on what matters while starting your investigation. At the top of the summary page is the investigations panel. This tool is used specifically to investigate IAM users and roles using indicators of compromise or IOCs to help you determine if a resource is involved. Now an IOC is an observed artifact within an environment that can acutely identify malicious be behavior or activity. Machine learning algorithms and threat intelligence feeds are the brain power behind the investigations feature. The next feature on the summary page are the finding groups. Now finding groups are assembled from behavior graph data and Amazon guard duty findings and produce an examination of multiple activities as they relate to a potential security event. Threat actors attempting to compromise your AWS event will perform a sequence of actions and behaviors across time and entities. When you examine these in isolation, their significance can be misinterpreted. 
Finding groups solves that problem through graph analysis and inferring relationships between findings and entities, and then groups them together. The next few panels on the summary page provide you with insightful observations, all derived from behavior graphs. This includes a panel addressing roles and users with the most API call volume, and you have the option of filtering out service-linked roles due to their high API call volume. The next panel features EC2 instances with the most traffic volume, followed by container clusters with the most pods created in EKS. Lastly, the newly observed geolocations provides a global visualization highlighting origin location of activity in the previous 24 hours, which were not seen during the training period. This panel can include up to 100 geolocations and will display the number of failed and successful API calls in the last 24 hours. The last feature of Amazon Detective provides in the search is the search capability. With this feature, you can search for any finding, i.e. guard duty finding or entity, which is listed above, wildcard characters um, are permitted, as well as IP addresses. In the last slide, we focused on what Amazon Detective offers to empower and speed up your security incident and event investigations. Now I want to focus on how those features, given the context of an investigation, can assist your efforts. Amazon Detective User Guide offers a suggested investigation flow that begins by selecting an entity to investigate. The selection may come from various automated notifications, such as a critical guard duty finding or security hub control failure. It may come from suspected malicious behavior caught by an end user or your other detection mechanisms. Your organization's process maturity and run books will help identify the initial entity or finding to investigate. From there, through AWS integrations, you can pivot directly from AWS Guard Duty or Security Hub to the entity or finding, spotlight the summary, zoom out to the finding overview, or refine your search of an associated entry. Now, at this point in the investigation, the situation should gain clarity as your efforts will begin to narrow the focus and root cause of the incident. Step two of the investigation process will begin presenting visualizations to analyze finding details or a new entity profile associated with the investigation or again pivot to a more suspecting entity profile. This process may repeat until you find the root entity involved, then you're at step three. At this point in the process, you have enough evidence to pinpoint the entities involved and update. For example, you can revoke access, you can disable a role, you can isolate an EC2 instance or discuss the activity with security personnel. Security investigations are intended to be efficient and precise. Amazon Detective, coupled with Amazon Guard Duty and Security Hub, can be powerful enablers to help achieve that goal. This concludes the presentation video. Today we went through a thorough presentation of Amazon Detective, highlighting how the Amazon Detective API and associated features can automate, enhance and speed up the investigation and analysis of a security event or incident investigation. Please stay tuned for part two where we will be performing a demonstration of Amazon Detective in the console. The demonstration will include a walkthrough of all the features we discussed in the slide deck, a mock investigation after being notified of an alert, and highlight the benefits provided through the Amazon Detective API. I hope this was helpful and appreciate your time today. Thank you.